Hi, and uh, welcome back to this series of our tutorials on archaeological illustration um, by Mark Hoyle. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorials so far. Uh, predominantly they've been on pottery drawing, uh, but I am going to move on to some small final illustration in later videos and kind of show you how that's done. But today what I, what I want to do is expand on the series that I've been doing so far on pottery illustration and how you take a, a pottery drawing um, from the drawing board all the way through to a 3D model. Now as you can see here I've got a, a a Roman pot, a full profile of a Roman pot, and what I'm going to do is create this, uh, I'll create a 3D model from, from this itself. Now we don't need all of this pot, uh, what we need is just the profile itself, so I'm going to use the direct selection tool um, and kind of remove the external features of the pot that aren't required for, for this process itself. So once that direct selection tool is selected, I can kind of get rid of everything I don't need. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that I've just got this profile selected, which I have, and, and using the rulers, I'll switch them off and switch them back on again, uh, Command R in uh, an Apple Mac, and then I'm going to drag the ruler line uh, to the anchor point, the base anchor point of the pot, to set that at zero, 0, Now, that'll become a bit more apparent when I open it up in Cinema 4D, so I'm going to go to Save As, and what I'm going to do, save it as an Illustrator file, but I'm going to save it as a legacy file. Now, a legacy file is just an earlier version, so I'm going to uh, choose uh, Adobe Illustrator 8, and that'll get rid of a lot of um, features that I don't need and allows me to open up in Cinema 4D. Now, this is just a demo of Cinema 4D that I've got, and as you can see within this screen itself, uh, there's kind of an X, Y, and Z um, axis points. Now, that's the, the zero points where the arrow is pointing now, right at the, the, the kind of cursor there. So because we've saved the Illustrator file, with that, when I open the file, the Adobe Illustrator file, and place it in, it should center it to kind of uh, to that line itself. So I'll leave the scaling as it is, and there you can see it's kind of brought in the the kind of the wall of the vessel itself, a, a kind of two D model of the wall vessel. Now, what we're going to now do is apply something called a lathe nerb, uh, um, and that's going to kind of help us create a three D model. So the lathe nerb itself uh, looks a little bit like a pot. So you can kind of see there, it um, just needs applying to the, the kind of stroke or the outline of this pot itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, pot profile and place that inside the lathe nerb. Now that should create a 3D model for us to kind of be able to send to the client. So by applying the lathe nerb, you can see it's kind of created a, a basic 3D model of the complete Roman vessel itself. Now this is useful to send to the clients if they want to uh, use Cinema 4D, they can uh, take measurements, they can zoom in, zoom out, uh, change the lighting for it. You can also attach um, photographs so you can kind of apply textures to the model itself if required. Uh, but it's just a very useful um, tool if, you kinda, if you've got complete profiles to create the model itself. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, please like, subscribe to see more. Cheers, bye.